This is Emac24101 on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. With Brock Lesnar in attendance for the UFC 184 pay per view event live. This is a developing situation. As we all know, he is signed with the WWE World Wrestling Entertainment right now as a WWE superstar. He is the current WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And he's in Los Angeles right now. Now, Lesnar's contract for WWE, which he signed a three year deal, 2012 2015, when he came back, he had a two year run. We all know what happened in 2002 2004. Um, now, it's like to expire following WrestleMania and UFC, along with Bellator and Inoki Genome Federation, have all expressed interest in signing the pay per view juggernaut. Lesnar is currently set to defend his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Roman Reigns, who is the Southern Team Royal Rumble winner. And defeated Dan Ryan to keep that spot at Fastlane at WrestleMania in March 31. We all know March 29th. We're 20. Well, actually, now we're 28 days away because this is 12:07 a.m. as I'm uploading this live. Um, we all know he's a big name. Everyone wants him just because he's Brock Lesnar, an athlete. He's a beast incarnate. I mean, guys, wow. Okay, guys. Well, uh, Lesnar. Uh, Brock Lesnar was the next with a huge smile on his face and created a big buzz in the arena upon his arrival. Now he came to the cage and sat with TLC President Donna White as review started. Lesnar was also seen backstage wishing Tom Ver 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 Ferguson luck. Now Lesnar coached Ferguson during a season of the Ultimate Fighter. Now you can uh, you can catch you know this on pay per view for buying you're watching on YouTube whatever you can also check out on full live coverage at the websites the Thirteen newsletters etc. The live coverage you guys see it, and there's links and, and you know there's actually a photo of him at ringside with Donna White. He's actually with uh, at front row. Brian said uh, he tweeted on Twitter uh, saying "Brock on the house" with the picture and then the beast current at UFC 184. Guys, I don't know. No, Brock was well no, He's all about the money. He doesn't give two shits about the company that he's with with WWE. He doesn't care about competing. Well, yeah, he does. He's just a guy that arrives, destroys you, beats the shit out of you, um, and then we'll repeat that. And even, you know, screw Sable, which is his wife. He has some kids with and all that crap. And I can't believe I'm even uploading this video past midnight. Um, but, you know, you know, he eats, he sleeps, he conquers, he destroys. He arrives, he leaves, he felt the table, repeat. You know? There's actually some photos. Um, as noted, I just said that, uh, it was noted that W. Royal Chain and Brock Lesnar attended UFC uh, 134 in Las Vegas on Saturday. What the hell? I don't, I don't know. No, UFC Vice President of Public Relations, uh, Dave Schroeder, tweeted the following on Twitter. Uh, it's on Lesnar. He said, uh, watch Brock pump Ferguson on backstage, if you recall. Uh, if you remember, basically, Brock coached Tony on the Ultimate Fighter. Now, Tony shocked, was shocked to see him, then goes out and dominates. Uh, Brock has arrived at uh, UFC 184. There's a picture. I mean, guys, the links, as usual, the source, the proof, in the description of the video, as always. I mean, if you can every time with WWE, we all know the backstage issues. We all know what happened when he walked out because he wants more money with merchandise. He wanted his WrestleMania paycheck. He, he just doesn't want to. I mean, he wants more money. He's making $5 million a year. Pretty much with limited dates, with limited appearances, coming on Raw and fighting four matches, really, on pay per views. I mean, guys. This guy just wants to, I mean, I mean, he's the current champion. This, this whole title reign was just, he's got two title defenses. And he just wants more money for for not even appearing, not showing up. I mean, Paul Heyman's even on my quorum. He doesn't do anything. I mean, Roman Reigns, we all know. Is he going to beat Brad Lesnar? I don't know about that. However, 
I mean, we all know what he's done. He's beaten CM Punk, he's beaten Triple H, John Cena, Seth Rollins, The Undertaker, The Big Show. He's really done all that. His record is actually like 6 and 3 or something like that. 5 and 3 or 7 and 3. I think it's 7 and 3, yeah. In 10 fights or 10 matches in 3 years. One guy is like John Cena. Probably have. Well, I'm exaggerating a little bit. Maybe 500. I don't know. Well, I shouldn't act like that, but at least have more than 100. You know, you see one tour is going on. I might do a review after this. I'm kind of excited. I'm actually breaking the news to you right now. So, uh, they're saying that um, the only reason why he was there because there was actually no uh, heavyweight championship fight or no fights for the heavyweights. Uh, they're just saying it was there basically because um, this is just like retaliating at uh, you know, just basically retaliating at um, Dudley for what he did on Monday. And he's actually in a business suit now. I don't. Is he leaving really? WWE? Is he going back to UFC? I mean, guys, I have no freaking idea. However, I don't even know. I mean, guys, they're saying that the latest update on the contract between WWE and Ryan Hunter that's coming now feels like the, that, like. Like she will be resolved. Wait, whoa! They're feeling that breaking news right now. I'm not, that the company now feels, as of this moment, that the issue will be resolved and he will resign. Either way, contrary to some rumors, wrestling Thunder main event is not in any danger. Pretty much saying he will probably not be uh, coming back tomorrow or yeah, tomorrow on Raw. Technically, it's March first now. Um. Uh. Saying he has four more dates left, but I guess he isn't already signed, I guess. I mean, this is rumors, these are reports, but they're saying that he was just coming to retaliate. To make basically W jealous, like, just for what happened on Monday with WB and stuff. And the guy's, uh, if he beats him, he's real, I mean, he, I don't know. WB is in danger, though, if they do lose him, because he's a big name, I mean. Because he thinks it's fake. That's why. Two, he thinks, you know. As we all know. So yeah. Um. I mean, guys. I think that's basically gonna be it. That's gonna be it, guys. Um, sorry if I'm not really focused. Um, I mean, everyone was saying, did he quit UFC? He did, or did he quit WWE? He's going to UFC, you know. That was actually, I just got that rumor right now, honestly. It was on my phone. iPhone 4 is. It's reading it right there. Off the rumor roundup, saying that. There's actually something about DWN. I might, I might be uploading a video, according to their premium newsletter, uh, next, or a little bit later on, so. That's basically going to be it. Um. Now, what's going to be the main event of WrestleMania 32? Now, they need it for uh, Dallas Cowboy Stadium and AT&T Stadium. Um, uh, Brock versus Rock, but will it be for the WWE Championship? And if Brock is even going to retire, is Rock even going to come back for a match? Three years later, after he uh, lost to John Cena. And this would be the rematch from SummerSlam in 2003, I think. 2002, one of those. This would be a tremendous roster. Thanks for the support, and uh, make sure to... Uh, you know, like this video, share this video all over the entire internet on Facebook, Tom, Twitter. Comment with your thoughts and your opinions. We'll see you two. Peace out later and subscribe.